Hey everybody, it's Aquila, and this is a Lefty Knitter podcast, and this is episode 59. 59. I am slowly creeping towards 400 subscribers on my YouTube channel. That's so exciting, and thank you to all my viewers, and thank you to everybody that's coming back, and comments, and likes, and, you know, shares my podcast, whether it's through another podcast, or, you know, just your social media. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I finished the tilde hat. My hair is like really crazy today because I let it kind of dry on its own. So, pfft. yeah. <clears throat> tilde hat by Anise Sang. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing her first name correctly. So, I complained a lot about this hat. This was the hat that my knitting group decided to do the quarantine cow. We all picked a pattern that was something that was free, that we had in our favorites, and this was what we picked. I know I complained a lot about it. I am the first one done in my group. Um, yeah, because I jumped the gun. Oh well, I needed, I wanted to do something else. I've been working on the Sorrel sweater and I wanted to work on something else. I've now gotten to, on a side note, the second color of my Sorrel sweater and I'm a couple rows into it and I'm really excited. So that's kind of picked me up again. Um, so it calls for a bulky weight hat, seven whips per inch. I didn't look at my yarn well enough. This is a super bulky. It's five to six whips per inch, wraps per inch. I keep saying whips per inch, wraps per inch. That's why it was a little hard on my hands. It was a little hard working with the yarn. It wasn't, it was the yarn. I picked too bulky of a yarn. Needless to say, it's done. Well, the ends aren't woven in, but it's done. I am done. I'm gonna weave the ends in and it'll be done done. I used 157 grams. This is the yarn I used, loops and threads. Cozy wool, it doesn't say super bulky, but you know. This is the sweet grass colorway. Oh, it does say super bulky. So much for reading labels. So much for reading the pattern too, because what did I do? The chart is an eight row pattern. I thought it said repeat it three times. It said repeat it two times and then only rows one through six. So I had to fudge the decreases a little because there was some cabling in the decreases. I just didn't do it. <laughs> just didn't do the cabling in the decreases because I had already added two extra rows that shouldn't have been there. Needless to say, I am glad I did those two extra rows because if I did not do those two extra rows, this hat would have been very short on my head. Right now it comes like right in my ears. Right there. I wish it came a little bit further down. I used 157 grams. These balls are 127. So I used a ball and some. <laughs> the different, uh, like 30 extra grams. I'm gonna do something with this. I have a bunch of this super bulky weight. Maybe I'll see if Z wants me to crochet her another blanket for her babies. Maybe, we'll see. Ah, oh, onto the hat. All right, I know, I'm jerking you around enough, right? Okay. I don't hate the hat. I don't hate it. It doesn't even quite cover my ears. Oh, I could probably try to block this out. Even look. It's 50% wool, 50% acrylic. I could probably block it out a little bit. It needs more rows. It needs to be longer. It needs to come down a little bit longer. This will be donated or Hazel might actually claim it. She said she'd wear it. Maybe we'll keep it in the closet and see if she does wear it, and then if she doesn't start going for it, it's going to get donated. It's cute. It's super cute. I'm not going to do the pom-pom. I'm not wasting my time on doing a super bulky pom-pom. It just needs to be longer. 
I think a chunky hat looks super cute on people. A bulky, chunky hat when you have hair. I think you need to have hair to balance, like, balance out the extra thickness of the yarn on top of your head. That being said, it's done. And there we go. It's a pretty color, though. So I have, um, like I said, I have some gray, some black, some blue, some light blue, and then this green. I think I might dig out a super big crochet hook and just go to town and give it to Mrs. Z. I'm not going to dig out my Sorel sweater right now. I want to get a little bit further, so maybe in the next clip I'll be, I don't know, because I think I only got like six more rows since the last time I showed you, so it's not enough progress, I feel, to warrant showing you right now. So, yeah. That's about it. So. What? Oh. Sorry. He wasn't talking to me. Okay. Hey guys, it is Tuesday and I have a finished object to show you. <laughs> I told you, did I tell you I was going to make a blanket with all those scraps? I think I did in the last clip. Went and I found this hook. It is a Susan Bates hook. And it's probably not going to focus, but that's okay. It is a USN 415 and it's a 10 millimeter. It's huge. It's like the size of my pinky. It's giant. Okay. Makes a lot of noise too. I had all these yarns, right? So I'm not even sure. I don't have labels for all of these. Let me just show you what I made. Ready? There we go. This was because I decided I didn't need this in my stash. So I'm using it out of my stash so I can join the stash make along with Leslie and Barb. What, your blanket? Yeah. Yeah, I have it. I was looking at it. I was trying to find it. Yeah? It's yours, right? It's mine. Mommy made me. You don't eat a blanket. Yeah. Uh, so these are all like Lion Brand Woolies, Lion Brand Hometown USA, some more Woolies, some more Woolies. These weren't all full skeins either. You can kind of tell by how wide the stripes were. Some more Woolies, and then the Loops and Threads Cozy. Who I ripped? I ripped. One of them you ripped. Yeah. I don't remember. This one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. Um, one of these were called Charcoal. One was Sky Blue. That was probably this one. Sky Blue, right? I had two Sky Blues, and they were half balls, so I just used two different stripes. I just used one ball per stripe for stuff. I had some unnamed black ones. Two Sky Blues! Two Sky Blues! New York White white and then one of these was called the sweet grass which was my hat and the other is oh also sweet grass i thought i had another label for uh this grit i don't remember which one it doesn't matter this one was a little bit of a thinner yarn which is fine you can tell it is a little bit thinner by how holy it is and it's it's a green it's a dark green so the only thing you said was you wanted the gray in the middle Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gray in the middle. I, I, I thought it was purple, but it's gray. It's kind yeah. of like a whitish purple, but... Yeah, it kind of has like a purpley tinge to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, finish this in like a day and a half because it was so fast. And you slept with it last night already? Mm. Yeah. It's nice and warm. Yeah. So, do you give it two thumbs up? Oh! <gasps> Oh, she tricked me. She was saying thumbs down here. You can give two thumbs up. And I ripped one of them. It's okay. I ripped one. The labels are going in the trash. 
Yeah, so that's why I'm not going to eat it. Bye! <laughs> eat a label. All right, <laughs> see you later. I didn't mention that I was like, I might as well wear some hand knit items even though I'm working from home. This is the Red Moon sweater. Can't remember who it's by. I mix and matched some yarn that I had. You've seen this if you have seen previous episodes. It looks really nice on camera. <laughs> Yay! Okay, there you go. Red Moon sweater. Alright, let's round up this week, y'all, right? So, I got to the point where in the Sorrel sweater I was changing colors every other row and I don't I don't think giving saying this gives away too much so you change every every row for 20 rows so you're doing 10 of color one and 10 of color two every other row I'm trying to use up every little last bit of yarn right so I weighed my skein what I had left and I could get about one row per gram and I knew I had enough to get 20 well 10 rows in right so because I had like 37 grams well I knew I had more so I just I'm, I'm gonna keep going I'm not to the part where I split for the sleeves there's some short rows yet um, I'm four rows away from short rows, so I'm going to keep going and I think I can get four, at least the four more rows before that out of this last bit of my first color and then I'm working the second color now um, with this, so it's every other row. And I had it tucked in that bag pretty tight, so let me see what I have here because I have a mess. I should have taken it out before I started. Sorry. I did a live on my Akula the Hun Instagram page this morning. I've never done that and I had any people actually, I, I've tried it, like trialed, went on for a couple minutes and then, you know, went off. But I had quite a few people pop in and that was really nice. I, I was on there for like an hour. It was not quite knitting because Hazel and I were on there and we were, God, I'm wrinkly. <laughs> we were um, just coloring and talking just to talk to people in general. Uh, about everything what we were cooking new recipes we were making the different stipulations in their different where they were living um, so it was nice so thank you everyone that did join in on that uh, I want to do a little bit more of that I do have a zoom room I have not used it yet so if anybody is really interested in that please let me know um, I've tried to see if John would be like hey let's get on and do a zoom just talk with people and I think it's just because it's late and we're tired and we just haven't and he has not had a whole lot of interest, but he likes posting stuff on a Lefty Knitter Instagram. If you did not see the workout video this morning, you should check that one out. Uh, so it is on his page and on a Lefty Knitter um, Instagram. You can check them out both there. So this is the I should have put it on a bigger needle to actually show you what it looks like put on because it does look really cool right so here it is I am pretty far so at some point you stop doing those dip stitches and you're doing them only every other see because you can see this one and then you don't do this one and you do this one and you don't do that one so it's every other you continue the dip stitch down I think it looks really wild. I am really loving this. Can you tell that I'm switching colors? It's really hard, right? I feel like it's not super prominent. My color choices were probably pretty good for that. And the mohair also helps blend that in as you're going. Um, I'm really, really happy with that. I definitely can get a few more rounds out of this. Like I said, I'm going to use up every scrap I can. Once I get to splitting the sleeves, I don't want to have to have anymore. I don't want to do that because then you have to weigh it out. And a sweater is usually like in thirds, right? So it's um, one third body, one third sleeve, one third sleeve. It's close to the approximations, I think, of what you need. 33%. So, I mean, to split this into threes would be kind of crazy. So I'm just going to try to use it as much as possible. I almost wish I would have, um, I don't know, maybe not alternated as soon, but I knew I was getting close. So again, this is the Sorel sweater. Um, the links will be down below. 
I try to keep my Instagram page or my Ravelry pages. I've not been as good as keeping it up to date with actual notes, but I'm trying to at least keep the projects in there. So the project just might not have a lot of info in it. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at with Sorel. And I really, really do like that. Um, but I got a little sidetracked because big projects are big projects. And even though it keeps me going, I've had this project in my queue for quite some time. And I just finally, I had it, I had bought it already. It's $6.50 on Ravelry. I didn't wanna break into a whole skein, a new skein. So I found yarns that I've used in multiple projects already. And I cast on with that. I had enough yardage to do it. So I was like, I'm gonna do this. This is called The Lana by Nancy Whitman and it uses US size fives fingering weight yarn. You've seen these two yarns before in multiple projects. I picked in a third color because I've seen people use a third color in this project too. It's a cow. It's a bandana style cow. And it's stripes and then a solid color. And that solid color people were doing in like a third color. I did pick a third color in case I felt like I wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to. So I'm already done with my, this is the cast on color. The main color is still being worked. This is Yarn Hero. No, sorry. This is Yarn Rescue. I'm sorry. I think I might've tagged the wrong person. I did this the last time whoops um yarn rescue this color is called strawberry and it's a Falkland fingering solid it's Falkland wool 100 percent 210 yards for 50 grams um I've used this I think in three projects maybe four I can't remember my main color is ridiculous yarns and this is the color Galaxy. Now I've used this in a sweater, the Camaro sweater. I've used this in, oh, I use this in my Camaro sweater too. I use this in another shawl. I use this Galaxy in my hat that I made with the yellow that was color work. And then I used it in my Camaro sweater and now I'm using it in this. Oh, and I used it in my Bowie mitts because it was the cuff. This is the fourth project this yarn has been in. This is her Sparkle Fingering. It is a Superwash Merino Nylon Stellina 7525 and it's 438 yards. And it's that purple again with the sparkle. I love this. And I am to the point I've now joined in the round because you start it off like a shawl with the tab, then you knit your stripes. And now, because this will be the top, this goes around your neck, it's now connected. And I'm gonna continue, this now is continuing in only purple. I don't think I can fit this over my head without it falling off the needles. Mm, maybe I can. So the rest of it's gonna be all in purple. The purple has like a texture to it. And then you switch back for a little bit of your contrast color at the end. I think these colors are super fun together. My third color that I picked was really gonna be boring and it was just black from Knit Picks, but that was gonna be my solid. But I don't think I need it because I have plenty. And I just love these two together. I've tried putting these together in another project and I just didn't choose them. Um, but they are in my sweater together. So, I love it. Uh, I said it was called the Lana, right? L-A-N-A, -A, Lana. I think it's a good way to use up um, some scraps that you might have. Um, I think you only need 150 yards of the main color and less for the secondary color. So you could definitely use up um, one of those half skeins that you've used in something else and you're like, I don't know what else to use it in. Here you go. Bandana type cow. So the nice thing about the bandana cows is they're connected in the back and you don't have slippage from a shawl wearing it bandana style. Even if, you know, 
some people wear like the clips and the pins or the jewel clips. So, but you don't have to with this because it's a cow. All right, this is be graceful. <laughs> graceful. All right, let's see if I can get John in here. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I was in there and now I'm in here. Yeah. And now. now. And you were in workout clothes this morning. I was. I was. It's important to get some cardio in your day in these trying times. Which you did for like two seconds for a video. <laughs> and ate a Reese BC bag of Reese Pieces. I didn't eat a whole bag of Reese Pieces. That's been a collective over the last three days. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I haven't touched them. Me neither. So. You just spray yeah. your Lysol your package. I don't know how to clean it. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think anybody does. You just cut it open and then put the cardboard in the burn bin. And then clean the table in your hands again. Yeah. <laughs> We're uh, disinfecting packages. And that was something that we never thought we would have to do. I opened the last package outside, so I didn't um, even bring it in. To, I guess that was, I don't know if that was smarter or not. I don't know. <laughs> don't Who know. knows? Yeah. It's so weird. <sighs> I guess if we're going to get it, we're going to get it. Yeah. I mean, we've just... I don't know. That's a fact. I mean, right? Like, you can be as careful as you want, and you could still get it. Unless you're like... Hello, love that place. <laughs> I remember that day. St it was... <laughs> it was a... It was a great day. We got to swim with sharks. We did. Yeah. And then I bought neon shirts. She did. Thought that was a good idea. I don't idea. know where my pink one is. This one's yours. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, oh, sweet neon shirts. And they were like cheap. Yeah. In the Bahamas. This is when we were in Nassau. Yeah, we got to go snorkeling with sharks. It was awesome. It was really There's cool. a picture somewhere. Right there. Right there. Can you see it? Are all our pictures straight? Hold on. Oh, God. That bothers oh, you so much. Oh, God. Wait. It's not bad. Oh, right there is an issue. That's an issue. You're an uh, issue. This house gets shaken and whatnot by kids jumping and adults jumping. <laughs> 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 and it's a dining house. We're all about our fitness here. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about chasing each other with... Like you're shaking the table. I am shaking the table. I yell okay. at that all the time. I know. Were we going oh. anywhere? <laughs> like yeah. were we? Were we? Um. So we finished Ozark. We did. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. That was uh, that was a thing we did. Uh, I don't want to say anything. Anything. <laughs> you can't say anything. If anybody's it, watched it, you'll know. Holy cow. Did not see that coming. They always they always do like a big twist at the end, but I think that's how like just all shows kind of end their seats. I mean, really, a unless I guess it's a feel good show, then they Man. do like a feel good thing at the end. I I don't know. Yeah. So now it sucks because like that's like the one thing we binge watched, and not even binge watched because we get like one episode in before we're falling asleep. <laughs> Everybody was all weirded out by Wyatt. I said, "Get your son." Get that silver fox. Stop. You know what I'm saying? You're giving stuff away. But still, still. Mm. Like, Other than that, some people go cougar hunting. Some people go grand cougar hunting. <laughs> grand cougar? <laughs> yeah. Get it. Get it. Uh, Get it, boy. Okay. All about it. Other than that, <laughs> we been. have. Watched pretty them. much been within five feet of each other for two weeks now. Yeah. We've working. watched a lot of YouTube with Z. We've went outside and colored with chalk a lot. We've played Frisbee a lot. Frisbee. Wiffle ball. ball. Um, yeah. It's, Although, yeah. It's been a good time. Would love some normalcy. We might get out for our fitness. Today? Today or tomorrow. Ooh, ride bikes somewhere? I'm, I don't know. I've been thinking about like going for a hike in the woods. 
It's so nice. I'm afraid that like there's gonna be too many people that are like, we, we want to do that too. No, no, no. Everybody always goes to the one side of the place that oh, I'm thinking of. Oh, do you want to go? go to the we other go, side. We'd have to go sooner than later. Why? Because what? Two o'clock now? Oh yeah. We gotta get it would up. Be before. today or tomorrow? Well, maybe tomorrow. I don't know what the weather's supposed to be. Oh yeah. Or find some place that has like a really long sidewalk that's kind of flat. That so ride you bikes. can ride her bike with us again. That was fun. <gasps> that was fun. She did two laps around our neighborhood on her bike. It was our mm -hmm. first time ever going on a bike ride where she wasn't being towed behind in the trailer. She was on her own bike. Or us walking because she gets tired and then yeah. we have to carry her bike. <laughs> and we thought, or scooter. We thought we were going to do a little ride around the block and she wanted to go again. We ended up doing two rides around the she block. She wanted to see the duck. And the duck walked up to the lemonade stand. stand. And he said to the man, Run in the stand. Hey! Bop, bop, bop. Got any grapes? If you have kids, <laughs> you'll know that. <laughs> if you don't have kids, go watch it and it'll be stuck in your head for 15 hours. Hours? Days. Like years. <laughs> <laughs> we have been singing it since Florida. We have been singing it since Florida. <laughs> and that was two years ago. That was two years ago. <laughs> yeah. So. Now it's going to be stuck in my head again. Bum, bum, bum. Got it. All right, so what are we here to do? Just talk about our week. <laughs> it, That's it. There's nothing else worked. to talk about. We worked. We got in trouble for flatulating in the workspace. <laughs> we we. Oh, you went to a job site and saw a crane that was over 50 years old. Yeah, yeah. Was Which is kind of crazy. Born in the summer of love. Or the year before the summer. Like. I mean, to think that that crane is even making money for him. He's Apparently had they're everywhere. Taking... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so that yeah, type that's of how crane. I was able to get him what he needed. Apparently, yeah, it's held a friction. It's a friction crane, so there's not a lot of moving parts or stuff to fail. It's all cables and levers instead of hydraulics and electronics. For all of you that want to learn about big machinery and cranes. That's what I do for a living. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, my mom called. Stop. Okay, so let's wind this up. Okay. Well, <laughs> I thought you were a winder, you could do that. Oh my like, god! Like, She's Never gonna do this it. again. I use it. <laughs> I used it to cake this one up, to cake the ones that are in here up. So don't even. You had a weird hair here. Ow! That that's was connected. Not, that's not so, stay tuned to this channel because I think today or tomorrow we're going to be recording the 20 questions video. Oh, we're not doing that now? No. Oh. I need to Why charge my phone again. <laughs> to round up the video! Oh. I always ask you because everybody loves you. Nobody loves me. I'm just used to it. I'm the only guy in a house with three women, two female cats. And one male cat. One male cat. And I'm used to nobody loving me. Such a liar. See? See the thing she says behind my back? In front of you <laughs> to a camera? <laughs> ah. All right. So I hope everybody is healthy and not going insane and work those thighs sanitize work those thighs sanitize yeah sorry that all right knit happy work those thighs sanitize <laughs> <laughs>